Hey guys, so I filmed this beautiful makeup look that oh, is just perfect for any occasion. If you are kind of at a beginner level of makeup and you want to step it up a little bit, this would be a great tutorial for you. It's kind of like you're doing the most, but you're not really doing the most. Like you can go out in this and people be like, oh my god, you look amazing. And you're like, oh my god, like this is just a natural look, you know? I am looking snatched. So if you want to look snatched too, please just keep on watching this video. <laughs> if you are wondering, I already did my brows. This is actually my foundation shade. I'm not being problematic. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. Love this. Love this. I always come back to it. And I'm in the shade Snow. Um, I'm just going to take this on my beauty blender and start blending this out. Then you're going to see just how pale I am. It's so satisfying. This foundation smells amazing too. Too Faced Born This Way was the first high-end foundation I ever purchased. And here I am, almost three years later, still using the same foundation. I just love it. I love it. Mm, let's come through Snow White. Now that I'm looking like a literal corpse, um, wow. We're gonna use some concealer, charge shape tape. I'm gonna mix it with the Adrian line. I'm gonna start with my eyelids, just do a little dab there. And then do a little dab with my tape, shape tape. And this, I'm in fair neutral. I really wanna try the Born This Way concealer. I don't know what it is. I just have an attachment to Too Faced because that was like the first brand that I really, 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 really loved. They just have a really special place in my heart. So every time they come out with something, even if it sucks, I'm just like, oh my god, I want it. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to quickly set that with some Stay Matte Powder. And this is in the shade 100 Transparent. And I just take it on a little fluffy brush and just dab that on my lid. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, if you have this powder, but it smells so good it's insane it smells like expensive shampoo and conditioner and i'm just i love it it's probably not a good thing like why would it smell like that i don't really know okay now we're gonna do concealer i genuinely need it a little bit of this on top we're gonna start blending oh yes honey okay and now we're gonna set with some cody airspun powder um the queen of drag so thankful i found her shoved in the corner at CVS. I'm setting with more powder. <laughs> Groundbreaking. Stay matte again with a big powder brush. Um, I remember I was like going crazy because I knew I wanted this powder so bad because at the time I was not going to pay for Laura Mercier. I was too broke for it and I remember I went to CVS and I couldn't find it anywhere. I went to the back of the like beauty section and it was just shoved underneath like some nail polish and I almost cried. All right, now we're gonna bronze a little mix. Now I'm using Shocker Too Faced product. This is the um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And just come through bronze. We need it, sis. But we're gonna make myself look Smashed, and I will definitely blend this out because it is looking really harsh right now especially on camera so I'm just taking my big fluffy brush and running over that and now I'm gonna use the shimmery bronzer this one is by Milani it is the glow big bronzer and it's 04 it doesn't really do that much for me but it kind of replaces blush I used a lot more concealer today and it got rid of a lot of I have really bad hyperpigmentation across my cheeks and a lot of times it just looks like I'm naturally wearing blush and people used to kind of poke fun at me for it and so then I kind of got a bad taste in my mouth about blush. Fun little traumatic story, it's really not traumatic, I'm just being dramatic. I'm actually think I might put on blush today because cheeks are looking really pale. I'm kind of proud of that. Wow, I'm looking snatched. This pony is kind of giving me like a little mini fixiness. Next we're gonna contour and I have this little smash box. It's a step-by-step -step contour palette and it's a little baby one and I'm gonna use this cool shade to contour a little bit and this kind of sculpts me a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take my bronzer brush and just go over it one time. Okay, now I'm going back to the Too Faced bronzer and I contour my nose with it. 
and I just enhance it. I don't do anything crazy. I slash my nose a little bit, but not that much. Can you feel me? And I'm not explaining at all. I'm just blending that out with this brush that I use on my eyes earlier with the powder. Now I'm going to use a little blush, and this is Milani 01 Romantic Rose. This one's a really great one from the drugstore. And I'm just going to give myself a little blush. I'm going to put a little bit more powder under my eyes because they're looking not all that hot. I might actually put this on the side of my nose contour because why not? I'm going to put a little bit underneath my bronzer. It's looking a little messy and I'm not living for that. But I'm going to use this bronzer again. Pretty much I've put this on over half of my face and I'm not even sorry about it. And I'm just taking a blending brush from Morphe. It is M441. Use code. I don't have a code yet um, for 0% off. <laughs> James Charles is shaking. Actually, he's doing just fine. Um, that was a really bad joke. And I'm just going to take this all over the lid. And I'm just going to pretty much dip into this over and over until I get the color built up to how I like it. And now I'm just taking a blank brush that has no shadow on it and just blending this out. Now I'm taking a smaller brush and just using the same shade. And this definitely has some other shadows on it, so um, <laughs> no shame. But if you want to use like a little bit deeper of a bronzy brown shade, I would do that. Now I'm going to blend one more time. I'm not putting any extra shadow, but I just want to make sure that those colors are still there. But since I blended a lot of it out, now I can just go back and kind of redefine the areas that I want to be redefined. I'm just going to dust this off the bake. And yeah, it looked a little crazy, but I'm going to do my lower lash line, which really, really just brings it all together. And since um, the bags are... They are real every day, but they're really, 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 really real right now. Definitely smoothing this out. Earlier, I was looking sick, and now I'm looking sickening. Okay, before I do my mascara, I'm going to go ahead and highlight a little bit. Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. I'm pretty much using all the OG products of YouTube, but I'm not mad. So you probably aren't mad either. Okay, and then I'm going to just take my uh, ring finger and just do a little on my nose. Get a little on the brow bone. A little pencil brush because I just don't think I'm getting in there. Um, and also I just want to make this clear. I know I look a little crazy right now, but I promise it's all going to work out in the end. I think. So I have this little rock palette that unfortunately you will never find ever again. And the entire palette sucks, but this shade right here is the most pigmented eyeshadow highlight or whatever that I've ever use in my life like oh my god that just took that nose highlight from zero to 100 crazy I'm gonna do my lashes and i'm not actually doing real lashes that's too much work for me i'm curling them sickening and i use the mark jacobs this is the most expensive product i think out of this whole entire look it's the mark jacobs um it's just a classic eyeliner in the blackest black and we just tight line that made such a difference you can already tell I live for a tight line. Now I'm using the CoverGirl Super Sizer Waterproof. The last thing I'm going to do is just set with some Mario Badescu. This is really when everything comes together because I'll be looking like a hot mess with all this powder on my face and then I set it with spray and it... I just look angelic. And I'm not a big lip person i don't really do lips ever so if this would be the step where you would probably want to add some lips whatever that's just not my thing Ooh, this is high key sickening this is the completed look i think it looks really freaking good and it's really simple and i use the same products a million times multi-use come through Okay, and I'm gonna end the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching it. If you made it this far, you're a freaking saint, and I appreciate you. Thank you to everyone who's pushed me to do this, and I will see you next time.